Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, I'm going to just explain uh, URL rewriting within Matomo Analytics. So at least uh, some ways that you can rewrite some uh, URL within uh, within Matomo Analytics. So here uh, you have a WordPress website on which I uh, disable the URL uh, rewriting. So in order to do so, you just go over here in settings and permalinks and then uh, you just go for plain text and like this you will get URL uh, within you will get parameters um, within URL such as uh, the one that you can see over here. And in fact, um, I got one of my uh, clients who at some point uh, told me that, uh, okay, I'm interested in having URL which are properly rewritten within uh, Matomo Analytics. How can I do that? And I want to have this organization as a tree. And um, it's true that uh, there are several ways that you can uh, rewrite URL. I'm going to show you two, and I'm going to show you the advantage and, uh, and drawbacks of each. Um, so here, uh, we have a parameter, and this parameter um, means something to you, okay? It doesn't mean something uh, as a visitor, but it means something to you. And in fact, this given parameter can be reused by using Matomo Tag Manager. So in fact, you go here, within Matomo Tag Manager and you create a variable and um, this variable will be a URL parameter uh, type and then uh, you just give it the name that you want. In my case, I'm used to put exactly the same name as the parameter itself. And then here you can uh, define your uh, lookup table and uh, here, as you can see, uh, you have in fact the meaning of each of those ID uh, to me. Okay, and this is what I did over here. So I just enter every time here what is the ID of the parameter and then uh, the value of the parameter and then I assign uh, a proper value. And once my variable like this, which is created, I can decide how I could assign it to the Matomo tag. And in fact, within Matomo, you have two possibilities. You can either um, declare it as a custom URL. So this is what I did over here. I just went here, I select my variable, which was the page ID, or you can even assign it as a, as a custom dimension. And this is what I did over here like this. You can see uh, the two, okay, uh, the two different methods. In order to create a custom dimension, I just went within admin and then I created a um, custom dimension at the action level. And as a result, what's going to happen is that every time that I'm going to visit a page of my website, so let's go for the page ID, uh, ID to forget this one in the sample page. Uh, what is happening within uh, my Matomo Analytics. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It's happening like this. Like, that's the one that you can see over here. So it's name now products and it has as well a custom dimension name return URL. So there are two ways that you can uh, that you can do it. My preferred way would be to use the set custom URL because the set custom URL is in fact exactly giving you this at the end of the day. You see this uh, tree organization that you can see over here. Um, this is thanks to the um, this is thanks to the set custom URL. Uh, by the way, pay attention when you use uh, the set uh, custom URL because the fact that you had the final slash at the end to your value uh, is going to mean something. So for example, here, in order to get the slash index within this one, I yet to write it like services slash, uh, if not, it's going to end up uh, over here uh, under the, the WordPress directory for my case. So this is uh, what's happened when uh, you set it at uh, set custom URL. And if you set it at uh, the custom dimension, this is what you're going to have, right? So you're going to have the value which is push at itself, and then you're going to get in fact, the URL associated to it. So in my case here, it should not be uh, slash products. It should be the, um, I mean, if I did not activate the set custom URL, it would have been the URL with the parameter. But as you can see here, the services consulting and the services training do not belong to the services. And that's because I use the custom dimension. And when you use the custom dimension, you don't have the possibility to go under uh, more than one tree, okay? It's just uh, one drop down that you're gonna have and you're not gonna have like uh, what we have over here. As you can see, we have several trees. We have one tree, we have a second tree and we have a third tree and that's only the page URL report 
which give you the flexibility to have those levels. So if you would like to get URL properly rewritten uh, with a tree map configuration, you need to use the set uh, custom URL field, the one that you can find, yep, the one that you can find over here. And that's uh, everything that I wanted to show you for today about how you can rewrite your URL within Matomo Analytics. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.